Well, we can at least get it queued up and turn off the bossa nova and just switch to a, a different kind of jazz music. Actually, I think that's one of the things that caught my attention. <laughs> it's a silly thing, but anytime I see a game that's got a little bit of uh, jazz music, I, yeah, I, I, I can't say no to that. That's not really fair I, to other games that have different kinds of music, but honestly, it's just what appeals to me. Not to say that, I mean, I'm not exclusively a jazz fan, but it's my favorite. But I'll listen to damn near anything. Okay, we're here at 7 o'clock, so what do you say we get started? So let's just have a look at the options menu here. Resolution settings, volume settings, full screen. And here are our credits. Yeah, so eight people. Okay, so I guess that is up to date. Never mind then. So this is an alpha build and does not reflect the final look of the game. Visuals and content are subject to change. Now, if you do decide to go ahead and play this game, first of all, I'd love to know what you think about it. We can always compare notes. Maybe you noticed something I didn't. That's always fun to discuss games. As long as you do it in a civil fashion. <laughs> but if you do have feedback, there is the uh, developer discord, which is useful for that. You can communicate usually directly with the developer and tell them what's going on. If there's a bug, they'll look after it and you can basically help to refine this game a little bit, especially it's, it's useful, especially if you're interested in playing the full version of this. I mean, if you see something, say something is, is it, that's all. Okay. Let's click the start button and let's see what we got. Okay, so, mm, all right, so let's do a film noir, hard-boiled detective voice. Let's see. Hmm, let's think. Okay, here we go. Another day, another dollar. Need something to drink before I start my day. So this is Faulkner. Oh. Right. Okay, so W-A-S-D to move. So this is our office, I'm guessing. Wait, what was this? Oh. Now this is the kind of mug I can stand to look at. Use left shift or right shift to sprint. So that's nothing. Oh, hello. This thing ain't no espresso machine. But it does the job of waking me up. Cold leftovers from yesterday. Could drink this, I guess. Or maybe something stronger. Uh, are we looking for alcohol? Is it in here? No. Maybe it's in a desk drawer. Well, I guess we can only choose the mug. All right. It's cold, but it's caffeine. Somebody walked into my office. Detective Faulkner? Oh. We got word of a murder downtown. Looks like the mob's involved. So there is a voice. Never mind. I left the initial report on your desk. You'll need to check it over. I know how to do my job, kid. Oh. Faulkner has a voice. I know how to do my job, kid. All right. So I'll try to emulate that if when he's not speaking. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry. Now scram. So I left it on my desk. All right, let's look at the desk. What can we select here? It's phone. Oh. <laughs> oh, we can't do anything with this. I wonder who it could be. Ex-wife, maybe? Mm -hmm. All right, only thing we can choose are the phone. This, which does nothing. And this report made by FTO Beckett period for which 
made April 18, 1925. Persons interviewed and evidence collected. A gunshot was reported at 2304 along Norfolk Street. One victim announced DOA, a Mr. Harold Drago, Deputy Mayor for Housing and Economic Development. Cafe has been cordoned off and locals are being interviewed. So far, no witness has come forward. Four suspects have been detained and are in holding. Evidence has yet to be reviewed and the site has been left untampered. Awaiting arrival of a signed detective. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I completely forgot to talk about the premise of this game. This isn't your standard point-and-click detective game. No, 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 no. This is, you are actually working for the mob. And it's your job to obstruct investigations in order to help them. Yeah, that was the other thing that, um, I mean, the jazz got me in the door. <laughs> but I stayed for the premise. You play as a corrupt detective on the mob's payroll and cover up their crimes. Read files, collect information, and obscure evidence to frame an innocent bystander who was at the wrong place at the wrong time. After all, crime pays. <laughs> um, yeah, bah, 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 bah. yeah, you don't stop crime, you commit crime. You enable it. As a crooked detective working for the mob, it's your job to fool the boys in blue and help the criminal get away with it. But be careful you don't mess up. The mob doesn't tolerate failure. So you tamper with evidence and do, 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 do. alter clues and meddle with evidence to get your guy off the hook. Do a good enough job and it'll be a fat paycheck from your illicit patron. But screw up and you'll be in the obituaries faster than you can say sorry. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This unique premise. Usually you're... Because I, I remember playing like Least quest, where you're on the opposite side. You're you're trying to solve crimes, and this is just, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking. I, I don't. I have no idea where this is going to go. This is this is going to be great. So, should we make notes? Are we going to need to make notes, or are we going to have a notebook or something? Anyway, uh, twenty three oh four, Norfolk Street. One victim, DOA, Harold Drago. There's four witness. Or sorry, four. Suspects, no witness has come forward. All right, cool. The phone rang. I think I know who's calling. Detective Faulkner. Yes? Ah, it's all gone to hell. Trying to step up, kid. I don't pay a detective like you for nothing. Oh, who does this guy sound like? Shh. The Heat knows he's working for me, and if he gets fingered for this, they'll squeeze him for one of, if, So when he says the Heat, he's talking about cops know that he's... Okay, okay, okay. I, I get it. You gotta cover his tracks. Tamper with the scene of the crime. There's three other schmucks in custody you can frame. Uh, just don't be a mook. You can't implicate all of them. Just focus on one. Long as an ink. Patrick. That accent seems to come and go. A little bit, but, uh, okay. Don't screw up, boy. What? Why did that sound different? Uh, either way. Damn. He's not kidding around. I better grab everything I need before I head to the scene. Dossiers, files, anything I can use for false evidence. Alright, so there was nothing here. What about here? Oh, and we have a file here. Oh, okay, good. So this just... Okay, so th I've got a copy of this. I don't need to make paper notes. Need to tamper with evidence to keep Patrick O'Dowd from getting arrested. Three other... Uh, I'm only going to point one. Some deal went south down at the cafe. Sweet Brine. Now a guy's dead and i got to cover up the killer's tracks. Worse, that caf the cafe's a front for a speakeasy. Peddling contraband alcohol to any John or Jane with a sinful thirst. The poor sap who got killed is... A one Mr. Harold Drago, Deputy Mayor for Housing and Economic Development. No wonder the mob boss Sorrento was panicking. The mayor's office won't rest until they got someone's head. 
and he ain't planning for it to be his. Worse, if police look too close at this cafe, it'll blow the mob's operation wide open. I gotta make sure I cover the killer's tracks neatly to avoid further investigation. Alright. Ah. <laughs> ah, whiskey. My sweet nectar. My constant companion. And the cause of my biggest mistakes. Like these rising bills I gotta keep stuffing in here. Can't start the day without the hard stuff. Alright. So, what's this? Oh, what is this? Got a couple of guns in here. I ain't dense enough to write the combo down, but in case I forget, evidence report the last three numbers of the first Greco revolver listed. Last three numbers of the first Greco revolver listed. Huh. Last three. First Greco revolver. Just because I'm not sure if that's going to be in my notes. Nope. Return later. Oh, we can go in here now. Okay. Suspect folder. A collection of this city's finest scum. Better check through the dossiers in here at my desk. Figure out who's who. Oh, okay. All right, so this is the vault. Well, this is the guy that committed the crime, Patrick O'Dowd. Place of birth, Cork, Irish Free State. Date of birth, July 24, 1904. Hair, or height, 5'8", black hair, 154 pounds, brown eyes. Serrano family associate, priors of public disturbance, attempted battery, and larceny. So he's never actually done any time. Attire at time of detainment, cap, shirt, and trousers and boots. Now this kid's destined for a small room with a door that don't open. And if I don't cover up his tracks, that destiny will be coming around sooner than later. Kid's a punk. Got way too much lip on him. But apparently he's been useful for the Serranos. Not many think of the Irish when it comes to the Mafia. Means he can go places they can't. Do things they can't. Serrano would normally just cut a punk like this loose. Let him fall, but... He was caught out recently doing a run of coke down by the waterfront, by my own department. They know he's with the Serenos as they're the coke kings of NYC. My office's instinct is to kick this kid to the curb, but my bank account's malnutrition, and more importantly my head staying on my neck, tells me I gotta do this for the boss. Okay. So we're broke as a joke. <laughs> Name. Nikolai Vasilyev, born Gdansk, Poland, September 23rd, 1882, 6'5", red hair, 229 pounds, blue eyes, plumber, priors are assault, assault cars and grievous bodily harm, three year sentence, ooh, he's wearing a trench coat, fedora and military boots, outsider, he ain't got ties to any of the families, but he's done a lot of smuggling for all kinds. Tall, dark, and ugly, and a hell of a temper. One of my boys saw him throw a guy through a shop window like a kid with a baseball. After he cut up his face with some knife he kept from his military days, fellas got strange sentimental attachments. Apparently he specializes in Missouri moonshine. Don't know how he hasn't blown himself up with that stuff, considering he chains most like a speeding train. I kind of like the writing in this, actually. Vivian Rutledge, born in New York, July 6th, 1895, 5'6", blonde, 121 pounds, hazel eyes, socialites, no prior offenses. Attire at time of def detainment, a fur ruff, shift dress, and a T-strap heels. A tall drink of water with taller ambitions. This dame's been rubbing elbows with the upper crust for some time. She's got a hand on a lot of the real estate buyouts lately, and word is some connection with the Grecos. Apparently, she was engaged to one of the capos at one point or another, but for some reason she was able to call it off, whilst keeping relations sweet. No other woman, or man, I know, can turn down the Mafia. She's beautiful, she's powerful, and she's trouble. Kind I want to fall into. 
Looks like Mr. Faulkner has a bit of a crush. What's this thing? Well, let me read the last one first. Name, Leopold May. Born in Cicero, Illinois. March 17th, 1863. Hey, he's born on St. Patrick's Day. 5'9", brown hair, 163 pounds, brown eyes. He's an accountant with uh, priors being embezzling and drug possession, no jail time. Attire at time of detainment, three-piece suit, brogues, and fedora. Quiet fella, unassuming, but cooked enough books to make Satan blush. He's got ties to the Bernardis, though he must be a hell of an accountant for them to keep him around. Word is they shattered his leg once they caught him skimming off the top. Poor sap can't walk right to this day. And it seems he's developed a nasty habit to deal with the pain. Fellow was caught with coke once before, and I got the feeling he ain't stopped. Funny to see a guy like this mixed up with the mafia. His dad was a beat cop, and a clean one at that. Guess you can't count on family values surviving to the next generation. Hmm. Okay. So we've got the plumber with the temper. We've got the socialite, and we've got the accountant with the coke problem. Now, this was the initial police report. Okay. And I am, what is this? Oh, these are our notes. Okay. So let's leave. And <laughs> I got a briefcase with uh, just whiskey in it. Wait, do I need to take my coat? No. Nope. Am I really going to go to a crime scene with nothing on me? What? An evidence report, Doc. This one lists the serial numbers of guns the three major mob families have been known to use. Hmm. Best to take all the info I can get. I can check it over at my desk. That's this one? Yeah. Ah, 684. Is that our combination? Let's check before I forget. There we go. Lifted these from a couple different crime scenes. Colt, new service, military issue. Packs a hell of a punch. Knowing the mob is running around with these ain't a nice thought. Um... Oh, wait a second. Hmm. So I'm guessing depending on the gun that I use, I can implicate somebody else. So let's read this. Hang on a second. This thing's all handgun firearms, Colt new service confiscated by the three main crime families operating in New York. Serial numbers found below. ADW139. Da, 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 da. So what were, when was the 206 and LDS, right? So this one was, well, let's just take both of them. Yeah, so the IJ, IJI 206 is a Greco one. And the LDS 319 is a Bernardi one. Don't know if that's relevant yet, but. All right. So we got I, I don't think there's anything else I could do here, is there? We took the file from the cabinet. The safe is empty. I don't know where the booze bottle went, but yeah, because it's not in my inventory anymore, is it? No, it's gone. All right, let's leave. Hey, John. It's going all right. It's been busier than usual, man. <laughs> Just checking out uh, this point and click game where you actually play as a detective whose job is to obstruct justice for the mob. <laughs> the sweet Ryan. Always knew this cafe's customers were too shady. Figures this place is a front for a speakeasy. 
Gotta look around and see what I can tamper with. Well, piano's playing, but there's no one at the piano. Some brogues, military boots, and a parasol. Everyone's got brogues in this city, but the military boots are interesting. Though I think one of the fellows that runs this place served in the war. Parasol must have been left by some lady. Sure is a classy one, too. So, okay. So we know that... Who do I want to implicate? Do I want to implicate the plumber? Who wears the military boots? Or do I want to implicate... Hmm... You know what, let me return later. Let's see what other evidence I can tamper with first. Nice knife. Bit much for cutting fruit for cocktails. Well, let's take it. Huh. A list of the bar's most frequent patrons. And just my luck, everyone's on here. Uh, Vivian, Patrick... Patrick is the boy who committed the crime. We're trying to get this guy out of it. Nikolai is the plumber. Oh. Was it Vivian Rutledge? Hang on a second. Yeah, Vivian Rutledge. Patrick's the... Okay. Leopold. All right. Okay. Definitely broken in the fight. That's a hell of a swing from whoever did this. It ain't easy breaking pool cues. Yeah, no kidding. Which would mean that somebody who had to do that must have been pretty strong. Which makes me think I should implicate Nikolai. Hmm, okay. Pool matches from 10 p.m. onward. Lost more money than I care to admit betting on this damn game. Looks like Patrick did too. He was on a serious losing streak. If I rub his name on, I could replace it with someone else's. Let's, uh, let's implicate Nikolai, uh, the Polish plumber. Definitely see a big guy like him play in this. Someone that big could easily reach anywhere he needs on the table. So, oh, that's another. We're not done in here. I didn't realize. I thought these were windows. I didn't realize these were doors. So there's two other rooms we can go to. <sighs> Never got cigarettes. Always preferred my pipe. Wait a second. Patrick is the. Who's the smoker? Who's the smoker? Ah, Nikolai's the smoker. Okay, we we might need to come back for that. I'm not sure if we should take it yet. Could be any dames, but I don't think the boys in blue are going to spend much time thinking about this one. That's my job. Well, let's, let's take it. While I certainly ain't going to use it for myself, this lipstick's got to have some use. Sheet music. There's three songs here. Maybe I can use them to indicate who might have requested them played. Not the most solid evidence, but every little bit helps. Huh. Inspect Annie Lyle. Annie Lyle. Who the heck listens to this? Guess some of the older folks might have might have a fondness. The real mystery is how they convinced the band to play it. Bye bye, Blackbird. This one's new but popular. Ain't no one who don't love this tune. Rhapsody in Blue. Song's been out for just over a year, and I'm already sick of it. Blue collar workers ev blare it everywhere. Guess they don't get to listen to as much as the party goers. Plumber would be a blue collar worker. And let's uh, well, let's see the last one. Sheikh uh, Sheikh of Araby. Now that one's been all the rage for them jazz parties the fancy folk up 
up top throw. Okay, so let's, uh, we're not sitting in blue, this is for blue collar workers. Let's place that one. There, music for murder, maestro. All right. I think I understand how this is supposed to work. Cocaine. Must have been a hell of a fight that went down for someone to forget this. We're going to take this because I think it's the accountant that has the cocaine problem. And we don't want him to be implicated. I got the marching powder and while I ain't fool enough to sniff it, perhaps there's a way I can use it. Mr. Harold Drago. Damn. Just goes to show no matter who you are or how high, the Reaper's just one mistake away. Stab hand. Why would I want to do that? Oh, wait. Yeah, I'd want to do that because Nikolai... Yes, right here. After he cut up his face with some knife he kept from his military days. Let's see what... Uh, let's return later. I want to have a look at this knife. Can we get any more information about this? I can't get any details on what kind of knife this is. It just says bar knife. <laughs> it's a little bit of a, a board animation there where he just starts kicking the ground. All right, let's stab his hand. Not to kick a dead guy when he's down but this definitely makes things look worse. Very much, yeah. It's like police quest, kind of, but you're on the other side, making sure that certain criminals get away. Let's, let's take this. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. All right, what's in... Wait, is there something over here? It's another... No, oh, it's locked. Okay. What is all this? Huh. I ain't seen this one yet. Probably because I ain't got a dame to take along to the pictures. Wish things had turned out different between us. Ah, that looks like a key. A key? Bomb man must have left it here when he was using the john. Where there's a key, there's a door to be opened. Okay, can't open that. Alright, well, before we go in there, let's check this other room. Oh, another gun. Colt New Service. Military issue and packs a hell of a punch. Knowing the mom's running around these, uh, these ain't a nice thought. Serial number is IJI331. Ooh, okay. So we're going to replace this. Well, let's see. Nikolai has worked with all dark and ugly. Outsider, he ain't got ties, but he's done a lot of smuggling for all kinds. So he's not specifically... Hmm. Who do I want to implicate? I could implicate the Grecos or the Bernardi family. You know what? I'm going to leave it for now. A tumbler full of rum. Who drinks rum at a shady meeting? Wait a sec. Rum was Patrick. Okay. Can we get whiskey? Can we get behind the bar? Hmm. Okay, well, while I'm over here, I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take the brogues and the parasol. 
I'm going to leave the boots. Because Nikolai wears boots. I'm going to empty this. Now that it's empty, no one can tell who was drinking here. If we could fill it up with another alcohol, that'd be great. But it doesn't look like I can. So, this is what all the fuss is about. A piece of paper with a deed to some crappy lot. With a, what a thing to die over. Sprinkle ash. Sprinkle cocaine. Smear with lipstick. Let's sprinkle ash on it. With some ash on this, it'll look like a smoker was pawing at this. After all, businesses and cleanliness don't go hand in hand. Not in these sort of deals. Okay. Now, let's go see what's in here. Damn, there's enough liquor here to put the bar owner away for good. Guy's got guts keeping this much contraband back here. Can't help it but admire them. Surely there's a way I can use these. Yeah. Can I... Can I take all of them? Yeah, all right. <laughs> so this takes place in Prohibition era, by the way, John, if you're still here. So that's why uh, this is a speakeasy. So let's go. Wait, let me just double check. I'm reasonably sure that Nikolai drinks whiskey. Yep. So let's go back in here. And pour some whiskey. There. A glass of liquid contraband. Shame I can't have a sip. Could use a drink right about now. Well, you're basically a walking liquor cabinet at the moment. Look, look at all this. We've got vodka, we've got brandy, mezcal, gin, rum, and wine. we got plenty of booze. I'm gonna leave the gun, though. Maybe. Hang on a second. Was there a serial number on this? IJI1331. Oh. No, I have to change this out. Ah, all right, let's uh, swap it with Bernardi's. There we go. I think I've done just about as much damage as I could. Oh, there's another door over here. I didn't see this before. Relatively light. Clearly that Patrick fella. Poke holes. What? Holes make it look like a fella with a cane left these. Ah, smart. All right. I think I have obstructed enough justice. <laughs> Such a weird thing to say. Let's well, see. Surprise this work, but the sheet music displaying Rhapsody in blue helped steer the investigation towards Nikolai. Now he'll probably hate that song as much as I do. The cigarette ash on the land deed didn't help Nikolai's innocence. A lone whiskey by the land deed wasn't a good look for Nikolai, as the only known patron who drank this stuff. Sure hope Nikolai enjoys pool, because it's caused him enough trouble. His name on the scoreboard helped pin him as being near here, the time of the murder. The knife in Drago's hand made it easy to reason as Nikolai's M.O. Ah, oh, poor plumber. I bet he makes some good pruno in jail, though. Phew, I'm beat. I'll head home after I finish my report. No rest for the wicked, and I'm far from kind. Better answer the phone before I leave. Great work, my boy. I just kissed you. Oh, where I go? Your time. They got some other Patrick's that are Patrick, and don't suspect a thing about me or mine. You did good, and your bank account's gonna be doing better soon. I'll be in touch. I send some great things in our future. 
Who's this? Detective Leo Faulkner? For my sins. Listen, buddy, it's late. You'll be wanting to hear what I have to say, Mr. Faulkner. I don't like this guy. Don't think I do. Edward C. Cooper, Bureau of Investigation. Seat then. So, what's the bureau want with some NY detective? A skilled investigator, Mr. Faulkner. We know your record has been rather exceptional. You always catch the suspect. See, there's been a, a breach of confidence, if you will. Seems some of our agents can't be trusted. Hmm. We've been on the case against some of the oldest crime families operating from LA to here, all the way down to St. Louis and beyond. Each I time can't. we try and catch them red handed, they seem to disappear like ghosts. I can't figure out this guy's accent. <laughs> it's a I don't know sure if it's my ear just not picking it up or if it's if it's kind of all over the place. Sounds like bad intel. They're being warned. We're not naive. We know every crime family has inside men. Law enforcers have been taking Bram since the world was turning. But now it seems to have reached into our affairs, too. I still don't see how this concerns me. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't play coy, Faulkner. We need an investigator, an outside man. A guy who knows his way around the street. Someone the mob doesn't worry too much about. Someone who's... <laughs> you need somebody else, brother. <laughs> Willing to get their hands dirty. Well, if you want to put it that way. What if I say no? I don't feel like this is a job you can say no to, Leo. Then those stacking bills you keep stuffing in your drawer will come calling sooner than you want. Hmm. You're extorting me. <laughs> well, you really are a great detective, Leo. <laughs> oh, hardly. We're simply speeding up the inevitable. You do this for us, and we can wipe your debts. A fresh start, Leo. How else are you going to get the money? I know you're not stupid enough to work for the mob, so you're running out of options. I can have your ass on the curb next week if I want. The choice is yours. This guy's voice, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it quite fits with this. Um, maybe it's just me. It's just, it's taking me out of it a little bit. What is it I gotta do? <laughs> you have to wish list. That's what you gotta do. All right. I didn't think this was gonna be a very long demo. Uh, usually these narrative driven ones aren't terribly long. But yeah, that was all right. Um, let me think about it here. I still like the premise and I, I still, I'm interested to see how it works as the narrative goes on uh and i don't know if this is the beginning I, I don't that's the thing about this demo is i don't know if this is the beginning of the game or it's just a vertical slice somewhere midway through hmm i don't know we'll have to wait and see but yeah um i wonder how long this game is going to be and i mean Here's the thing. I, I've played a couple of, of um, hmm. I've played a couple of point and click games recently that have had some voice acting in it and I haven't loved it. So I would love the option to just be able to turn off the voice completely and just read the text. I mean, for streaming purposes, I can just do my own voices. <laughs> I don't have a problem doing that. I enjoy doing that. Um, 
And it also lets me use my imagination to figure out how I think the person should sound. When you have somebody that's, uh, that's voice acted for the game, you're kind of just forced into accepting that that is the voice of the character. And sometimes, like what I just saw there, that, that Bureau of Investigations guy, that the Fed, it didn't, like, I don't know, it, it was kind of weird. So, if they're going to have voice acting in this, uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, the only one that I've, I've kind, I felt kind of fit was uh, the detective himself. Although he doesn't really, I mean, for all of his internal monologue... He doesn't really actually have a lot of voice lines. It's only when he's talking to somebody else, which that was an interesting choice. But yeah, like, uh, the, okay, so it wasn't just me. It wasn't just me with the mob boss. Cause I'm like, I'm trying to figure out, I'm listening. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out your accent, but it's just, it's coming and going. And especially with, um, but here's the thing. I don't even know if, I don't even know if they use like just stand in voices if they did their own recordings or whatnot. Let me see. Oh, shoot. I don't have an option to go back to the main menu, but there are credits. I want to see if there are already credited voice actors here. Uh, this Sean Mulkerin is the only one that's credited for voice acting. So did he do all of the voices? I mean, that might explain things. Because, like, look what, look at the other roles he's got. He's got lead game designer, narrative designer, additional graphic design, and voice acting. So it might have just, he might have just been, like, a placeholder. At which, if that's the case, then forgiven. Completely forgiven. Like, that doesn't bother me. I can, I can overlook that. No big deal. But the option of um, muting just the voice dialogue for these types of games, I always appreciate when it's there. Because sometimes I don't want to hear somebody else talk. Because sometimes I'm, if it doesn't, if I don't feel like it quite fits, it just becomes distracting. And if it's a distraction, then it prevents me from getting immersed in the game. That's it. But on the whole, for as minimalist as, as the graphics are in this game, and the scenery and everything, um, and the design and the aesthetic... I, I kind of felt like I was getting into it, especially with the music. The music does a good job of, of helping to create that atmosphere. So I'm going away with this thinking, you know what? I kind of want to see more. I think I would play this when it comes out. I don't know if this would be like a day one purchase, but definitely, this will definitely stay on my radar for sure.